Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This is Leave Me Laughing, Garden Tales and Limerick. Asking, GPT, can you make me laugh? Do limericks on residential gardens. There once was a garden quite small, with apples that grew in the fall. Five bushels you'd reap, enough for a heap of pies that could line a great hall. A man had a peach tree to tend. He thought it would drive him round bend. Fifty pounds, oh so sweet. A juicy, sun-kissed treat. It felt like the gifts would not end. A lady loved plums, oh so tart. From summer, their harvest would start. Two hundred, give or take. For jams, pies, and cake. And each was a small, purple art. There grew some raspberries, so fine. Along a cute, leafy green line. For pounds, you would glean. In shades of red sheen, enough for some fruit-laden wine. A couple grew cherries with glee. From blossoms to fruits on the tree, ten pounds they would get. In cherry juice, they'd be set. In jubilant as folks could be, now figs were a venture quite grand. Not native to this moderate land, but if luck's on your side, twenty pounds can't be denied. Just enough for some dishes so grand. And don't forget grapes on the vine. In clusters that looked so divine. Sixty pounds, you'll uncork. For juice or perhaps pork. To accompany dinner so fine. So listen, dear gardeners, do. These yields are for climates like you. Plant well, water, and feed. And you shall indeed. Reap fruits that your efforts accrue. And there we have it, Cognition Chunkers, another episode wrapped up like a beautiful garden in full bloom. Today's episode, Leave Me Laughing, Garden Tales and Limerick, has truly been a horticultural hoot. We've delved into the delightful, fertile soil of both gardening and poetic art, planting seeds of wisdom and nurturing them with laughs along the way. Together with GPT, we've explored how gardens are not just patches of earth teeming with flora, but fertile grounds for humor, symbolism, and wit. From those pesky weeds that keep sprouting back, no matter how much we pull them, to the prized heirloom tomatoes we baby like our own children, we've used the limerick form to unearth a trove of comedic treasures hidden beneath the mulch of everyday gardening struggles. Who knew a format as strict as a limerick could produce such a bountiful harvest of laughs? It turns out that the limitations of the limerick form, much like the constraints of a small garden plot, can inspire incredible creativity. We tackled everything from overzealous garden gnomes to that unidentifiable plant in the corner that just won't stop growing, all while maintaining the distinctive rhythmic and rhyming patterns of limericks. We even touched on how the garden could be a metaphor for life. Sometimes you sow zucchinis and get pumpkins, but that's all part of the comedy and tragedy that is the human experience. Gardens, like limericks, are small, structured spaces where immense, unpredictable beauty can occur. And yes, sometimes that beauty takes the form of a hilarious five-line poem about your never-ending battle against garden snails. So, if you found joy in today's poetic foray into the world of gardens, or even just learned something new, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more Cognition Chunks where intelligence meets irreverence. Whether you've got a green thumb or two left feet when it comes to the rhythm of poetry, there's a place for you in our community of inquisitive minds and hearty laughers. Until next time, keep your garden flourishing and your wit as sharp as your pruning shears. We'll see you in the next episode where we'll dive into yet another enriching and entertaining topic. Thank you for joining us on this blooming, fantastic journey.